All amigos, this is Somvir and welcome back to CodePipe. In today's video, we will see how we can set up our Django project. I am using Visual Studio Code as our code editor. And to start the project, first we will open a project or open a folder. We can open any previous folder or we can create a new folder here. I will be using it for Django cookie demo. So I will create a folder with the same name. I will select this and select the folder. Now we are in our Django cookie folder. So what we will do here is we will get our terminal. We can go to view and here we have terminal. Also, we can use this shortcut. So we will open this by default. It will be in the same directory as our folder. So the first step will be to create one virtual environment. For that, we will need Python. I hope Python is already installed and is present in your path. So first of all, what we will do is Python minus M V E N V and our folder name that will be used as our virtual environment. So let me say D cook and press enter. It will create a new folder inside our Django cookie folder, which will be an virtual environment. You can see it here. Even after the folder is created, it will take a moment or two to complete the command. Once the command is completed, we can get into this folder that is dcook. Now we need to say cd scripts and here I can say activate. This will activate our virtual environment and we can confirm this by looking at the starting of our code line which says dcook which is our virtual environment. Let's go back to the current folder which is Django cookie. Now this virtual environment is blank. It does not contain anything. So what we will do is we will install Django. We can install Django using pip install Django. Along with Django, it will also install all the needed or helper modules. It will again take a moment. Now, once Django is installed, we can say Django admin start project and our project name. So let me call it Django underscore cookie and hit enter. You can say you can see that a new folder is created. And this is our project folder. This is our environment folder. Now we will change directory into our project folder that is Django cookie. And if we look inside this, there will be another folder with the same name which will contain all our initial setup file. We are into our project folder. Now we need to create an app which is Django application. So I can say Django admin create app and the application name. So let me call it cookie. My bad, this should be Django admin start app and the app name and hit enter it will create an application inside django folder now what we need to do we need to tell django settings or django setup files that we have installed one application and you need to handle this so we will go to settings.py scroll down to our installed apps and here i will say cookie save it and inside our urls where we have URL patterns, I will also add URL for this cookie application. For that, along with path, we need to import include. And here we have the admin path. So I will give it a home path and I will say include cookie.urls. Now let's go to cookie. We don't have any URL file here. So I will say create new file urls.py. Inside this, we need to set up URLs for this cookie application. So I will say from django.urls import path and I will say URL patterns is equal to a blank list. We can add our paths here. To add our path, we need to create views inside our cookie application. So I will go to views.py and I will create a simple function here. We can use function views or class based views. Let me define a simple function based view. So I will say index or if we can say home. It will take request and here I can say return render. First of all, we need to provide request here and then the HTML file. So I will say home.html. Now let's create our home.html template for that inside our main folder that is Django cookie. We will create a new folder with the name templates and inside templates i will create a new file which will be home.html 
here I can use extensions from VS code like prettier or autocomplete to get simple HTML code. Here we have our normal HTML file and for test purpose I will create one h1 tag. I will say this is home. We have our template ready. Now we need to again tell Django settings that we have templates. You need to consider this. So we will go to our settings, scroll up where we have base directory. I will say import OS and just below this or you can put it anywhere else. I will say template underscore dir os dot path dot join base dir and templates here i will copy this and scroll down to our templates which is this one and here in place of directories i can simply put template directory now django knows that we have a template folder where all our html files are kept so it will look into this whenever we initiate a template file or HTML file. Now in our URLs, I can say from dot URLs import views. Now inside this URL patterns, I will say path. Let's keep a blank which will behave as a home page views dot home and I will give name of home. Let's save this. Now this view that is views dot home which we have defined here it should run whenever we open our home page because here we did not provide any path which means whenever we open our website this view will be called and inside this view we have this template and this template is a simple html file now let's run our server which will be a localhost server so in our terminal i will say python manage.py run server it is giving us an error which is from urls import views which is wrong it should be from views import everything and here i can just say home save this and let's try to rerun and if we can see our terminal is already reloading this so we don't have to run run server every time our development server has been started on this link and if we check we have this db.sqlite3 automatically created whenever we run run server command so if we alt plus click this it will open our link in a browser so as i was saying whenever we open our home page or the website this is template that we are getting which means our django project is running fine but there is one more thing in our terminal we can see that we have some migrations to be applied so for that we will close our server using control c now we need to say python manage.py make migrations it will migrate all of these things which are by default provided by django application or django project into our database so i will say manage.py make migrations and hit enter make migrations says no changes detected so now we need to do python manage.py migrate so make migrations is used when there are some changes we need to check for these changes and migrate is used whenever we want to migrate those changes and apply those changes so as we can see here it is applying all the changes and after this is completed if we run run server again it is not throwing any error about migrations so we are good to go and our web page is also working fine as we can see here at this point i can say that our django project is set up and we can continue with the project hope you like this video and this was informational as a bonus point, let me inform you that there are many extensions in VS Code like Kite or PyLens or Prettier using which you can make your coding more efficient. Kite uses AI to complete your code. So this is also a field you can explore. With this, we come to the end of our video. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and throw a like on the video. We will meet very soon with a new video. Until then, this is Somewhere taking your leave. Adios.